Hello, YouTube from the future. You are here now with me with a beautiful background soundtrack from World of Warcraft, very low, so you can hear me speak. But I hope it will make this uh, the stream more enjoyable. Today we are keep going on the terrain of Warcraft 3, re reforged the Path of the Damned, first chapter, surging through the ashes. The goal of our stream today is to basically make the terrain of this map. We made all the layout last time, we are going to make houses and improve the terrain this time instead, okay? As you can see, while you were not watching, I had already done quite some things, okay? And I'm going to keep working on it and try to make the village. So, here, except for some, like, small improvements it, i'm pretty happy so let's go and work on this other side let's just me improve this a little bit less even is better okay like this and this here like that too much too much maybe Maybe this, and this, okay. Very well, so. First thing first, we can just copy-paste a bunch of houses. So we can, like, start from something. Poof. We change something, because otherwise it looks too similar. Remove that one, we add this other one. You see here we have this place, and then this other place around. We can add something else, maybe maybe this small house here, and something like this, maybe detached, and you can also pass here, behind, very well. So now, maybe here on this part, we can add something like that. Something like this. And then also maybe a bar. Here, which looks pretty well together. Then here we need also more houses, so we're going to put another one here. We have main road and also this path, this path, this path. We don't want an even path here, so we can do something like this. And then add here now this. And then this is quite big. Yeah. Pretty nice. And then the greenhouse. Like this, does it look fine? Ah, it looks quite fine from this angle. So now let's set some fences. Fences are very good. It's improving the various layouts. So we can we can do something like that. Hello, thank you, Raimeno. Raimeno, how should I pronounce it? Here you have something like that, something like that even more. Hello, Raymano, welcome. Appreciate the follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. I know they might some, they may be a little boring. I added a bit of music be behind. I hope you're enjoying the music. Um, they are pretty long, and and I, I had to do a lot of stuff so. It may not be as entertaining as watching someone play, but I hope you enjoy nonetheless. So here we put a beautiful hint. We can try to maybe run it the other side. Okay. I'm working on the first chapter of the Undead campaign. 
the terrain uh, with houses and stuff of trudging through the ashes. So it's something people is pretty hyped off. Oh, exactly like that, you see. <laughs> I was just telling, and so you, ooh, like the, uh, the small green guys from Toy Story. <laughs> ooh. So, we can have some trees maybe behind, what do you, what do you think? The claw! The claw! The claw is our master! <laughs> Sometimes when I choose my students for like um, questions and stuff like that, I say the mark. The claw. The claw. You make maps a lot. What, map, uh, what maps have you made? Oh, you are Dime, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember you, yeah, you made the, uh, you made Antonidas, yeah, yeah, the standing Antonidas, yeah, sorry, I didn't know you, you were Dime, 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 I don't, don't know how to pronounce, so, please have mercy of me if I pronounce it the wrong way, Can you rotate the way I want you to rotate? It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You see, my name is easier to pronounce because it's not subject to interpretation. They are English word, so it's it's easy. Oh, it's insane monster! And I, uh, when I made it up, I, I actually didn't made it up, but. Uh, when I got it, I was not so used into speaking English, so for me it was Insane Monster, okay? Just read it out loud as it is in Italian. And then I learned it was Insane Monster. <laughs> Silly me. I was, a ch I was a child. You have to be patient with me, guys, because I'm not listening to the music, okay? The music is turned off because I'm not using the headphones in order to do not overheat my ears. So, uh, uh, I've turned off the sounds from the speakers so you can you can hear the music on background, but I can't. If it's too loud, too quiet, let me know. I hope you enjoy. It's important that you can hear me speak. But if you can also hear the music, I'd appreciate that, okay, because it's it's one of the suggestions you made to, to me last time, so I wanted to... Oh no, I can't do this. Silly me! You can't do this. No, I can't. You see, you had this entrance. You can't have the entrance be covered by... My fans, it will be pretty weird. Okay. Now? I'm reasoning in the B, so it's a logarithmic scale. So I can't tell you how much 5% is on a logarithmic scale, unless I do some maths, but I don't want to make to do some math now, so... <laughs> you aren't going to tell me, okay? Not okay.
Like, one thing I always like to do, and that Blizzard never did, is to actually make... use fences around the, the, the fields, because usually in real life you have fences around fields to prevent from wild animals and people to steal, okay? Now, I'm, I think I'm not going to make a full fence on this one, just for, uh, for the sake of variation and to give you maybe a little more place to hide. So we're going to have a smaller fence. No, don't delete it. Yeah, it depends on the field. But I like to do that in here in Warcraft. Okay, then we have a windmill. This way it looks better, indeed. Doesn't yeah, it does not clash, so it's okay. Let me get increase it a little bit. Okay. Now it's small house like here. Okay. Yeah, this is this is partially open. Wait, how you spin the doodads? You use control and you rotate your mouse cursor. You have to make sure the doodads are not forced. I usually remove all the paths, all the pathing on all doodads I'm working with, and then I add back the pathing at the end, or I just use pathing blockers. But it depends on the case. But for houses. Yeah, because you have you have to make changes in the object editor. You have to change this to none this has to be none no you can do that for buildings unless you remove his building like mm, I will make an example let's say I want to rotate an altar of kings okay you go down here you have this is a building you select false then you go here you go here you go to the Alliance, for example, you have Altar of Kings here, and then you rotate the Altar of Kings as you want. Then you say, but this way is not a building anymore, what are you telling us? And I can show you that, why this is definitely not the, the correct rotation in game, if I go here and click on reset, it keeps like that. But if I move it, it resets. So I use this always on the tents. My god, you change percent percentage, you're mad. You're taking like hours. Why it takes minutes. Oh, I mean it palette. Okay. Oh, this is ugly. Hey man, you're ugly. Don't be ugly. Be beautiful. Be like me. Come on, just be less ugly. Okay, now you are less ugly. I said educational stream, yeah. <laughs> it's not actually an educational stream, I mean. It's more, uh, let's see what I do. If you enjoy that. You can make beautiful things with the reforged terrain, but you have to take out the curve because it's easy to look. It's easy to make it look bad. You want it to look good, but you need a lot of care. Now, don't watch my um, my speed. I always tell you I, I'm a bit faster than usual, but I am. I'm very used to do this kind of thing, so it's easier for me than it should be for you. In time you may learn to become fast as I, I am. 
That's mission one. Mission two, I don't have to make the terrain because the terrain is done already. In map three of the human campaign, I made the entire Andoral and I intend to keep that Andoral. So I'm not going to, to change it. I will change some things to make it autumn and stuff like that, but it's Andoral. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> This is a mission I always disliked. I, I hated mission one within the campaign. I hated playing the entire under campaign. I always hated. I loved the uh, the final elf mission and uh, the first elf mission and the orc mission because I love to play against special orcs and special um, elves, but I disliked a lot. Or everything else. It's a very boring campaign and a very bad race because the undeads uh, in the campaign are not fun, in my opinion. They don't have the right toys, you can really play with the units like you should be able to. Like, you have, you have an open space like that, okay? How much space do we have? We have some space, so we can try to maybe make it a bit more interesting, gameplay-wise. And we might have some trees. But leave open a space down here. So you have plenty of space to pass here, main roof, and also there. Hello, Lil Moost, and welcome! In Riri Forge, there is no hidden stuff uh, behind trees. I hate this, okay? You might have stuff hidden behind trees, but you don't need to destroy the trees. So long you don't need to destroy the trees, is okay. But if you have to destroy the trees, it's not Riri Forge. Only one case this happens, and happens when you have access to Goblin Suppers. Then it's okay. But otherwise, you don't even think of it. You should try destroying all the uh, the buildings, all this, the trees around with your mortar teams and artilleries. No. In case you have Goblin Zappers, then it might happen. Okay, but only when you have Goblin Zappers. Because their existence basically tells you, Hey, man, you can destroy trees with them. Let's look behind some trees. When I was a child, I always loved... Uh, Night Elf the most of the base races. I love the Naga, um, I love the, the Blood Elves, and I also love the Falorks. Of course, I loved everything that was not standard, except for Night Elves. I love Night Elves, I always did. No, it's not fun at all. It's it's boring, stupid ass gameplay that that it was fine for when it was envisioned back in some ages past, but now it's no longer appropriate. Especially because they they made it rule in many cases, like mission. Three of the elves have you destroy the trees to go forward, then it makes sense because you already are destroying the trees for the main quest. But otherwise, why? <laughs> why you should do something like that? My dislike is path, it's so ugly. Let's try to make it a bit more bearable to my eyes. Hmm. Just a bit more bearable, but let's not exaggerate it because it's not great either. Okay. Why this is so bad? You have to make sure it looks good from the game proportion.
There is a way to make trees not die when you harvest them. But why would you do something like that? It's logical that they die. It's one of the mechanics of the game. Why would you change this? I like this part of the village. It's very cute. It, it's shaped out very nicely. Let's go forward here. So we need uh, a chapel. So we are going to use the Alonso's chapel. in place of the horrible cathedral. Let's see. Yeah, better a bit more. Yes, like this. Okay. Deo gracias. So we are now at Caligos e Sindragosa. I hope you like this. It's the World of Warcraft uh, new soundtrack for the the new expansion. No, it is already there. Let's use this one, which is not already there. <sighs> no, not like this. Maybe I like this. Yeah, this is better. It looks better here. Perfect. So one ship, one path here, one path here, one path here. We might want to have maybe no path between this. Too too many paths. Otherwise, it becomes too hard. Have here the, the main plaza. Let's try to make it a bit more civilized. Can we talk a little about mission 9 on the human campaign? I have some question about the design. Go on. I will take some drink, some water. In the meantime, do ask. You want me to stretch up? Because it was anticlimactic. Uh, is the answer enough for you, or you want a better answer? Fifteen minutes. How did you get it? Fifteen minutes. Should be at least twenty-two. But okay. So uh, I'm. I think I'm going to make it a bit longer. But it should be at least twenty-two minutes. When twenty? Okay. Yeah, twenty. A defense mission should never go above thirty, unless you have ways to reduce it. I will probably increase a bit, but not by much. And improve a bit some mechanics of it from the defensive part, but the goal was to show that you were overrun. This is the game. You are going to get defeated by Amalganis. Okay, you are going to lose. Then you win thanks to Frostmourne. 
In the base game, you don't win thanks to Frostmourne. You, you win because you win using the game mechanics. And I didn't like that at all. I thought that that was pretty cheap and not at all climatic. You have to add values to Frostmourne. And in the original, you didn't with that offensive part. And this is why I moved it to an epilogue where you basically one shot stuff with Frostmourne. It's, I think, the point of the other campaign is not you win against the undead. You are not winning in truth. You are not one. This is the, the reality. Exodus soon. We are currently in beta testing of Exodus custom campaign and I start already working on the human campaign. Of course the custom campaign release is not just they will do it together. They have a lot of improvements, okay? And they are meant to be the definitive version of both campaigns. So that I'm not going to touch them ever again unless some bugs arise. Do you understand my point, winner? Because I understand where you come from. You're telling me basically, but I had that power fantasy, I wanted to win my game. Yeah, but you are not winning story-wise. I want to tell you the story through the gameplay. And if you defeat Malganis with your own forces, because you're just a better player than the AI, then it's anticlimactic. And you say, okay, you make sure you can defeat Malganis without Frost. How can I do this? Because if I made Malganis strong enough to defeat you before Arthas arrives, then you are forced to fight against that force later on, and it might become terrible. Or I make it weak earlier, but in this case, the defense part is very, very bad, boring. And I can't have the shed part. I can't have you defend and bot uh, control Arthas and Muradin because there is a boss fight. And the boss fight requires all of your attention. You can just say, okay, well, I'm going to play this while I'm defending the base. It's not possible, okay? And this is the reason why they did that. And I think it's more climatic. It makes more sense with respect to the story and all. But it, it's not done without thinking, okay? It's not that, oh, let's remove it, who cares? It's not like that, okay? I think a lot about these kind of things. Because, of course, otherwise, pitchforks will come. I'm not Blizzard. Blizzard gets the free pass for everything. If Blizzard makes a mistake, everyone will be like, yeah, yeah, they made a mistake, but they are Blizzard. They can do what they want. They decide the story. In my case, uh, I can't. So if I change something so much, and I did change it a lot, it's done in a logical way. Okay. Of course you might still tell me, I don't agree with this choice, I would have preferred... Yeah, yeah, this is completely fair, okay? I'm not saying that my solution is the best possible solution in the world. It was the best possible solution given my task, which is... To make you immersed in the story, it's like I want to put an emphasis on the story, also through gameplay. This is my basic idea. And that epilogue was necessary to explain why Arthas is level 1, so something the fans have required for for ages. Okay, ages people is, why is it level 1? I want to play with level 10 Arthas again. And now you have uh, an explanation. You got to play it, so it's if you want. So it's pretty powerful. You remember it quite well. This is the idea. Of course, it might be a mistake. I I, I can't tell you. I, I I'm happy with how it is. I'm going to improve it, improve the balance to make better the defense part. But I really like it. Okay, so I, I like the the design idea of it. More than a thing I made. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mission 7 is a, a, a macro mission. I'm trying to make all missions unique for what I can. here maybe okay now it's fine and sad I hate gray oil <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah they look bad I'm sorry but they look really bad can stand them Well, what you mean? Well, from you get water or? Well, like, good. What you mean? With well. Yeah, for water, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's later. I will find some places for them. Try to make the entire village. So we have this path here, this path here. So we're going to prolong it here. Here you should have trees, no cityscape, low room fall. Okay. I think I might have some houses here nearby. Might be different from all the other churches I made.
Okay. Okay, maybe something here behind. Any suggestion is appreciated anyway, yeah? Beside the wheels, I understand about the wheels, I'm going to do them. I appreciate any help you want to provide me. Okay, so you have this pass here, this passage here, this here, this here behind. Something here maybe we should have. Maybe here we can make some... Here some stalls, maybe. No, here, here. Well, let me check. We have cityscape, we have structures. market mm. maybe it is so bad. Mag is still large, but it's not large at all. So we're going here. Market. You see the market stuff. Mushroom. No, no, no. I should have added more than one in. Like, this ear is an in, technically speaking, and this ear is an in, technically speaking. So I did, I can make one more if you want, but maybe along this road I can make something stands out a bit more, yeah. None. All the dude that's here are normal. I not imported anything. I will import stuff later. For now, it's just terrain dude that's all standard things in the editor. Say, so, my God, so reforged it can be good. Yeah, it can. All the guests. I dislike all the hateful reforge. I mean, it, 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 I understand some points of the hate for reforge. It's they are not without reason, but now has become just a mindless rant. If we can all accept that reforge is good for uh, single player content as the best possible thing for single player content, and it's a platform to be improved on. We would open skins also for multiplayer, better stability, better more features, stuff like that. Then, if you understand that this is something we should force them to improve, then you can see that it has a lot of potential. These are looking amazing. Thank you. It's it's really not so detailed right now. Okay, this is how it looks in game. This is the game cover. Remember, when you're making the terrain or the doodadding stuff, always make sure you are checking out how it looks in game okay okay so i said that i add something here and then an in right here so yeah we can add something more like 
bit more agrarian. We can add some small so small fans here for like beasts. I can add some animals in that. Mm, no, you need you. I need you for my fans. Hmm. This looks. Yeah, I like how it looks. Picketh. Picketh thingy is good. What is bigger thingy? I will add the wheels later. Trust me, I will do. Just be patient. Okay, I like this. This is quite you have some animals. Mm, no, this short grass doesn't fit very well. Maybe no, too much. This fits better, yeah. So let's just plane it. And uh, I had never had problem with the wolf laser in uh, Reforged. If you know how to use it, if you know what not to click, you are not issues <laughs> with the wolf laser. Old maps depends on what you do. But usually you open them in older version, you save them as a folder, and then you open it in a later version, no bugs, usually. Yeah, it's like the loading screen alignment. They, they can't really get the loading screen to align correctly. It's just like, I can't understand what Justify is. It's... It's mind blowing to me that they are so inefficient to to put it lightly. But alas they are. For this Vanderman village I decided to go very very agrarian with the team, so it's not mm, it's not Andoral, I mean it's just a village so it's much more agrarian. It's even a bit more agrarian than Strambrad. Because yeah, let's make it so it's along the road, it's a bit What do you mean by classic Warcraft 3? You mean the old battle net? You can't expect a service like that to last forever, it's not possible. It's not the little though, it's just upgraded. But it's upgraded in a way that's not finished, so it doesn't feel like an upgrade in some cases. In more cases than it should, <laughs> at least. But it's not true that it's deleted. It's just being repackaged. Problem is the new packaging. Especially the menus. Now the menus work fine, but they were working very badly for all of times. They were lagging. How the hell can you have a lagging menu? It's beyond me. Yeah, Italian is also worse. It's in part worse. I mean, I don't think it's worse per se, but it's just that we are used to it. 
we have been using it to something for so long that you can't just change it like they did. This is the issue, I think. More than being bad, at least in Italian, uh, I think the issue is that you can change something people have been accustomed to for literal decades. You can't. You are stupid if you do so. Because people are going to remember the old one and love the old one. Just because it's the old one, okay? So it doesn't, doesn't need to be better, per se. So, you wanted an in, so we'll make an in here. A bit bigger here. Yeah, it's it's very hard. I I, I still I, I have the, the voices of the character in my mind. And even if I can say, oh, some things in the Italian dub are good, there is a little part of me that says, yeah, but the old one was amazing because it was the old one. The old one had errors. There were mistakes in the old Italian translation, okay? Some sentences didn't make sense, but we were used to them. Because they were with us since the beginning, and so we just were used to them. Can you like something like that for an in? So, let's see here, how many? Oh, I have a thousand of tracks yet to play, yeah, this is very good. So, um, yes, this part is pretty nice. Ah, this is a bit too empty. Let me add something like, like I have here. I really like how this village is looking. This is a bit too... S this should be a bit... Yeah, okay. Now it's perfect. And also this probably should be... Hmm, but maybe. Maybe we can endure. Yeah. Maybe we can endure like that. I think this looks pretty nice. You enter from here, you find... The village, yeah, all these paths, you have a lot of paths. I think the map is not so big, I mean, this is the map. This is the map in standard game view. This is with the highest game view. This is the standard, more or less. And it should be, this is our touch, so it's not so big. I think this might turn out to be really fun to explore and move around. You have all these hidden areas and stuff, all this different way to move around. Okay, so we have all of this area. This area will be a bit more uh, industrial. We are going to put some uh, lumber mills here. And then we have this area with trees, trees and village. And this area with some farms. Let's see here what we can do. Uh, let's try to make a better passage here because it's not easy to see. Otherwise, okay. Okay.
Okay. So we have Post itching. The, if the old editor crashed when you are uh, looking at spell models, it's because you are an outdated version. Update to 1.35 because this bug was fixed in 1.33. It's very weird that you have this bug. Have you not updated the game? Well, Reforge is basically its models. I mean, it's the most important part of the remaster. If it wasn't about the models, I think we'll not be doing that. It's very weird that it crashes. It should not crash. What kind of models are you on? You are looking at are the default models. Looks good here too. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's see if I can adjust it to be very good. The photo model is weird. I mean, I, I can I can show you if you want. Give me a second. Second, sorry, uh, where is the model? I'm selecting a model on the object editor, and then I'm going to. You see, it tells you this that coil, you want that coil, okay. You can't load the WFX, you only load the model. Yeah, but this is not a crash. This is what you get, right? This is not a crash. You can tell me this is a crash. This is what you get. It's not a not found, it's that just that the, it's not baked correctly. I think it's more of a version misalignment between the editor and the game. I like the fact that I can reuse my old... <laughs> LOL. Uh, let's change it just because someone might notice I've reused it and I will be ashamed of myself for doing that. Okay. <laughs> uh, your clothes. This is very weird. I mean, I, I use the item a bit more than the average person so seems weird I should be the, one of the first to, 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 to see if there is some cr weird crash or stuff like that what should I put here hmm I'm undecided might be other related shipping up shopping 
is shopping out good. Yeah, shipping out good. Thank you, Fergrim. I appreciate. What should I put here? Mm. I actually have an idea about that. And let's make sure some buildings for this mission are a bit bigger. Okay. I think this can be really good here. Like with some guards. Maybe it's a bit too small, yeah. This looks very good. Weird. Why don't you like a building here that I can add some troops just beside this? Big, um, no, not too bigger. And then from the church seems odd. Mm. Oh yeah, I have a better idea. This you are going to like more. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, I'm going to show you. Tent. Okay. Like some tents for the troops. Maybe I can add here some trees. I want to have some kind of stationary guard post, okay? This is the idea in the middle of the town. Something like that, maybe. I'm not going to make the tower bigger than it is already. It's oh, it's already too big. It looks very hot, very out of place. Like this, yeah. This doesn't look bad. I think this is fine for a map like this. Maybe even a bit bigger, a bit smaller. I want to say. It's too big. Uh, let's make it like it was before. It is beside the barn, so it should be fine. Because yeah, like that is it's fine. This way you have vision. Okay, you are playing. You are playing a game. Remember that. So 
and then going to add all small details just to have basically a place here well described so it's okay this is okay like this maybe a little close to the trees no it's better like this then here we can add some grass of course around the tower Remember, you have to keep the proportions more or less the same with the game and at the same time you can exploit the fact that you see stuff nearby. If you place a, a, a Duda tower beside a regular tower it looks odd but trust me it's fine if you place them correctly people would not notice and it looks natural because it's like the game is and has always been so nothing bending anything new Ah, uh, spotty field, yeah, yeah. But I will add stuff on the field, so it's old fields are done the same way. Yeah, I'm not adding them right now. This is the detailing part I will do that later. By the way, I should add all of the layout decision on Akam plan. I forgot. I have to do it. Probably do it tomorrow. Oh. Okay, pretty nice. I'm loving this so far. I think it's much better village than the original. Graphically wise, I mean. Okay. What now? Um, I think we should put some trees down there. Okay, I'm going to watch it. Give me a second with this.
Okay. I think this is pretty fine. Should probably add something here. Improve this part to have more pathways. Okay, let me check. Well, you posted it. Well, have you... Flynn, well. Where? Which Discord? There is nothing from you recently. Ah, okay. Now I see. Now I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to add all of this. Now I see. Yeah, I see. I'm going to add all of these little details at the end. Yeah. Don't worry about that. So, oh, don't like you too much. This is better because this we have more paths. Yeah, yeah, this is later, okay, no, not now, because I first have to... I I'm thinking of the gameplay right now, okay, I'm thinking all oh, these guys moving around all these paths, you can move around the stuff. Die, please. Dice come. Rebels come. Okay, so this... Beneath the trees. Of course not. There are enough enemy heroes of the Alliance in the next mission, don't worry. <laughs> the next mission is basically about fighting against heroes. So I'm not going to add more heroes here. Always been, Flynn, always been. I must tell you that I'm starting to... Oh, Flynn, yeah, I'm going to stretch. That's right. I'm going to to, to, to get tired, okay? I'm quite, uh, quite nearby uh, getting tired. But I'm pretty happy because we have basically made the entire village. So this is not small at all. It, it's basically a camp plan detailing things and it's detailing is long but it's much easier because you can shoot yourself in the in the foot while you do that okay you can yeah make mistakes but they have no gameplay relevance while in this phase if i make mistakes they will have an impact on gameplay and this impact might be pretty big and have forced me to change a lot of things later on which is something I really don't want to do. Remember, use the rain to help your players see the, the path. Okay. Lay down like that and then you refine.
Okay. This is quite big, even a bit too big, maybe. What can we add here to make it a bit less big? I can add some trees again, but something different, maybe, from the trees? Nice idea. Wait, let's see if this works. Hmm. Yeah, a bit too low though. Mm. I would have loved to have something like that, but problem is it's a bit too. I mean, it's a bit too, <laughs> too profound. You know, maybe I can just do the rain there. Yeah, I was thinking of a puddle. A, a well! Yeah, this is a good place for a well. I usually put them beside the, the buildings, but yeah. Why not a wheel? No, no, there is no wheel in Warcraft 3. Maybe it's in structures, now that I remember. Yeah. Okay. Are you happy now, my man? Are these enough for you? Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. And let's make it big. Okay. Yeah, maybe. No, no. Okay. Hello, Lord, 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 First map of the Undead campaign. Cool.
Any secrets? So history egg? Um, not yet. But it's not yet finished. I have not found anything yet. Uh, I might add something later. Flynn, stop using that emoji of disapproval <laughs> towards me, poor me. This evening, Flynn is in a disapproval mood. Serious lot isn't disapproving. Maybe it's just me reading it wrong then. It's like some kind of poker face. Why they look odd? No, I think they look quite nice. Beside the church. Oh, sorry church. I think they look quite nice. It's different for change. But it's not so small here. It's even that small. In the original game, Bandermar Village is in game bigger than Handoral. Okay, so I think it's a small village, but it's a bit more extensive than for example Strombrad. But it's not so small, I mean, it's, it's a village. But no, I think it looks cool. There's also this fountain here, I mean, why not have fountains? I mean, it's not a place in WoW, just a specific story that you have to follow, right? So, it's a bit more of a, who cares, let's make like we like. Okay. Yeah, it's very scattered here too. I mean, it's along this road, more or less. There is this road here. You can see. I think I can add the lumber mill here too. Wait. Yeah. I decided to make it like that, I and mean, it's it's not a place in in WoW, so it's just random. It's not that you have to define and um, uphold to a specific layout. I I could have I can had a bit of fun with this, so I I did. Oh, okay. Now I I understand now the meaning of serious love. Thank you for the clarification. I'm raiding for this, I not say even hello. You're raiding? What do you mean? Ah, okay, thank you. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. 
Keep raiding in peace. <laughs> Bye bye for Grim. Have a good night. This place is very far from Andoral uh, in Worker 3. It's near the capital, actually, in World Cup 3. Here. You start here. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm brainstorming.
Why the gold mine? Why the gold mine? Maybe you don't me. Okay. Don't be in another place. Don't know. I will make it out of rocks. Okay, this will be rocks. And all these areas around these cliffs. Why you have trees all around these other areas? Malahite. What? <laughs> like and bend the rock. I, I, I could. It's not. It's not hard. I mean, let's just try. Let me take something that is. Man, this is... Gold mine. Yeah, yeah. I know. What? Should be there, I got my rock. Something like this. One should probably adjust a bit the cliff. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a... I like this. This is like a secret area here. You go here, find some... And you can find some... This entrance to the gold mine here. Can be nice. Thank you. This is a good idea. Bob lives in there. I like this. This little thing here. I will improve it, but... I will cover everything, basically, with rocks. Yeah. It's done later. But I, I like the suggestion. Thank you. Good fitting for this area where you can just go in here. Or we can even invent. This is an area with a lot of gold mines, and so we put more and more. But I think if we use more than one, it might become bloated with this weird thing. I mean, I like this to be a bit natural. Yeah, in this place it's nice. You, you don't expect that. And I will make something like an encounter based on that. Can be nice. Bob's guns. Okay, so we have this area, this area here, this area here, this part here, like some houses here, here it's rocky area, so no, no, I'm not going to use houses in this part, and here yeah, just the lumber mill with the, the peasants, like here some peasants, but here lumber mill actually with peasants. Mm. 
Okay, then you have to make this part, which is the old, the enemy hold, the small fortress. But I'm not going to do that today. So, uh, let's go forward 10 minutes more. Let's make the bottom one open and the first one here closed, like these. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will add stuff like that in that place. like this yeah yeah I know it's that is the one Hmm, too similar. Hmm, sorry guys. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> Don't you love when it war fruits and over? <laughs> and I <laughs> have to get more shallow and go to the terrain. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Evelicio, it's so good. Okay! <laughs> Uh. No, <laughs> he will not add a bit to this moment. It adds complexity and not variety. Yeah, it's an horse in the original, it's an horse here too, you'll be faster, it's, it's, it's much better. Alright, as we get the horse at the beginning, then he does this stealth mission here, it's, it's fine. It's Warcraft 3, I mean, it's not a realistic stealth game. It's just Warcraft 3. Sometimes people forget about that. I think this village looks pretty nice. I think it's sparse, like the original, is not small like the original, it's rural, more so than the original, has a lot of variety, still something here to do. Uh, have you seen Joseph B. Wood take on this chapter? No, I didn't, but it's just a cinematic, right? So. I didn't. Anyway, uh, I think it's time to close this for the YouTuber from YouTube from the future. So, dear YouTube from the future, you have been watching through here. I am really glad you follow up to this point. You don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below in the video. You can join us live on Twitch, and you can also. Uh, support me on Patreon if you so wish. Okay, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye and have a nice day.